Hi, I'm David Littlefield, also known as the Sausage Guy here in New England. I am a graduate in 1991 from Curry College with a business management degree. This is my curry. Yeah, I grew up born and raised in Foxborough, okay. so it was sort of uh, strange that it happened to be curry. I was recruited through football. I lived down the street, but I went to curry, I never went home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now I drive that distance every day, like all of us do, you know? But at the time, it, it brought me to a different place. And the experiences I've had through at Curry, through, through new friendships, partnerships, and, and friends, and it's been immense, immense. Opened my horizons, you know, hugely. When we got out of 91, the economy was absolutely decimated. And uh, I found myself sort of a salesman, and then I had this uh, then harebrained idea to scheme to do boneless buffalo wings at uh, Foxborough Stadium, now Gillette. The idea, we, did, we, we went through a big process, spent a lot of money on equipment, and we got out there in the first game, it was a complete and utter bust. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? You know, people walk by like, great idea, and they walk by all day. We retooled the next week, we turned this, this expensive fryer layer into a steamer, and I made hot dogs, uh, and that was very successful right out of the gate, you know, successful being where I was at the time. Uh, and then we did that for two weeks. The pads were out of town for two weeks. So what I did, I went back to the fabricator because everybody was asking me for sausages. And I had them modify the grill and, and put a grill uh, together on the car that and I actually cooked like literally 12 sausages at a time. And, and, and the rest is history. That's really uh, where the name came from because uh, we just did what I did and we're just having a good time down there every week and I got to know regulars and people, hey sausage guy, what's going on? They never know my name. The restaurant, it's, it's always a marathon, you know, and it's not a, it's not a sprint. You know, people are like, I hope you make it. And I was like, well, I don't have an option. I've got to make it. There's too much at stake. You transition from survival mode of yep. building your business, you transition to running your business. And, uh, that, you know, I remember that very poignantly because it's, it's the, the grind of getting there and paying your bills and, and taking care of your obligations and doing what you have to do. Um, at times, it's insurmountable. I remember Salsas in South Boston, been there 14 years. The first year, it was unbelievable. There was one day I almost walked to the door and locked it. I got halfway through the dining room and I was just like, I can't do it. I gotta stay open. But when you're struggling to build something, in the moments of, of, of duress, you can't do anything in that moment to change that moment. You need to live for another day. If you make the, 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 the commitment, no matter what you're doing, it's not about that moment. It's about that moment five years from now. And where do you think you wanna be? Are you gonna be one, uh, watching people go by? You're gonna be part of the process, you know? It's, it's, and the endurance and perseverance to get there. It's unbelievable whenever I have to go somewhere where I'm just beat, uh, great things happen of it. And, and I, I really truly believe if you're, uh, you're working hard towards something, you want to go and you want to reach for something, 90% of it is showing up. We do about you know, hundreds of private events a year. Mm -hmm. We do post-wedding post receptions. We swoop in at the end after the reception, people are hungry again. And uh, it's, it's a win-win because people get to eat and they're also like, nostalgic about it. They're like, oh man, remember when we were curry or remember when we did this, you know? Everybody has a memory connected to a late night bite. One of my best memories of recent was I stumbled upon us being mentioned in the Sports Illustrated issue of the commemorative issue of Fenway. I mean, I, mean, I, I was thrilled. I mean, that's just, I was uh, real proud of that. It was really a cool just to find it myself. And it, it's, it's good to see it come like that, to, 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 to grow like that, you know? Our biggest challenges now and the excitement of what we're doing right now is really just trying to embrace what it has become. Um, and it's really cool.